Today, we've got two important topics to cover and you don't wanna miss this. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. First up, let's talk about Huawei's major announcement at the Connect 2024 conference held on September 20th. Huawei's rotating chairman delivered two impactful statements that left the tech world buzzing. These statements not only shed light on Huawei's current position, but also highlighted how the company is turning challenges into opportunities. The first statement was particularly interesting. Huawei's rotating chairman said that the U.S. ban has actually helped Huawei achieve self-reliance. Now, this might seem surprising at first, but when you think about it, it makes perfect sense. The U.S. imposed strict sanctions on China and Huawei, citing security concerns. These sanctions included tough restrictions on chip manufacturing technology, which severely affected the region. However, Huawei saw this as an opportunity rather than a setback. The chairman noted that the U.S. is unlikely to lift these sanctions anytime soon. But instead of relying on external technology, Huawei embraced the challenge and started focusing on becoming self-sufficient in key areas, particularly in chip and AI technology. Huawei used this ban as a catalyst to push itself harder and become more innovative. The result? Today, Huawei is self-reliant and no longer depends on U.S. technology. Of course, it wasn't an easy journey. Huawei faced many obstacles and continues to battle some challenges, but the company has already overcome many of them. The key takeaway here is that if the U.S. hadn't imposed the ban, Huawei might not have pushed itself to this level of self-reliance. In a way, the ban forced Huawei to grow and reach the impressive stage it's at today. It's a classic example of turning adversity into an opportunity for growth. Now moving on to the second big statement from Huawei, Harmony OS Next. Huawei is preparing to launch its own operating system, Harmony OS Next, which is a huge milestone for the company. According to Huawei, Harmony OS has already achieved in one year what Android and iOS took 17 years to accomplish. That's a bold statement, but there's some truth to it. Let's break it down. In just one year, Harmony OS is already running on over 900 million devices. Yes, you've heard that right, minus 900 million devices. That's an impressive feat for such a new operating system. And it doesn't stop there. Harmony OS has attracted over 6.75 million developers to its ecosystem. These developers are working to create a wide variety of apps and experiences for Harmony OS users, helping the platform grow even faster. In addition to developers, over 1,000 partners have joined the Harmony OS ecosystem, bringing their own hardware and software solutions into the mix. And let's not forget the apps. Harmony OS already boasts over 10,000 apps, which is a huge achievement for an OS that's just getting started. Now let's put this into perspective. Harmony OS is much newer than both Android and iOS, yet it's rapidly catching up. If we look at the growth rate, it's easy to see why Huawei is claiming that Harmony OS achieved 17 years of Android's progress in just one year. Of course, it remains to be seen how the platform will evolve over time, but these early numbers are certainly promising. Huawei's bold claim about Harmony OS shows the company's confidence in its ability to disrupt the mobile operating system market, but whether Harmony OS can truly rival the dominance of Android and iOS in the long term remains to be seen. Either way, it's clear that Huawei is aiming high and the results so far speak for themselves. So, to sum it all up, Huawei has managed to turn the US ban into a driving force for self-reliance, pushing it Huawei. Now, I wanna hear from you. What do you think about Huawei's bold statements, especially about Harmony OS Next? Do you think it can really compete with Android and iOS in the long run? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. That's it for today. As always, I'll see you in the next video.